plans for Nigel. This boy is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. Uh, today, doing something a little bit different. I've got uh, three EcoFlow batteries here. I've got the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, the Delta 2, and the Delta 2 Max. I've got an array of solar panels as well. I've got two EcoFlow 100 watt solar panels, an all powers 200 watt portable solar power panel, and a Bluetti portable 200 watt solar panel. So 600 watts capable, not really in this sort of weather though, with grey skies, but 600 watts of potential solar charging. What I've been wanting to do for quite a while is to have a go at charging an electric car, either Susan's Golf or my Mini, uh, from a portable solar battery. So whether I could do a test to run it out completely and then recharge it, but also if I really had to, how much power could I charge into an electric car if I filled the car with solar panels and batteries? And that's what I'm doing today. How many kilowatt hours are we going to get into the car? The potential that we've got is the Delta 2 Max has two kilowatt hours of capacity. It can output 2,500 watts continuously, but I've currently got it running at about 1,200 watts, I think, at the moment. It says that it's outputting. And that's going into the Mini on the lowest charge rate that it's got. What I'm going to do later is turn the charge rate up and try to charge at a higher speed. But at the same time as discharging this battery, I'm actually charging this battery from this smaller Delta 2. So the Delta 2 is currently providing AC power to AC charge the Delta 2 Max, plus the DC power coming into the Delta 2 Max, and then the AC out going into the car charging. So in fact, a few minutes ago when I just had a look at the Delta 2 Max, the percentage that it was was uh, 71%. It's now up to 76% already. So it's discharging from here pretty quickly at its maximum rate, 1880 watts currently coming out of the Delta II into the Delta II Max. So the interesting thing that I'm noticing is now the sun's come out, it's got a little bit brighter. The solar power has gone up, so we're now charging the Delta II at 2.2 kilowatts. 1.88 is coming out of this battery and the rest is coming from solar. So I'm getting between 100 watts to 400 watts at the moment out of these 600 watts of solar panels. So not perfect, but it's not a perfect day and they're not in the perfect angle. I'm hoping to capture not every single watt, but enough to make a difference. That's what I'm trying to do. So this battery is currently at 60% and declining quite quickly because it's small. It's a maximum power output. The Delta II is 1800 watts and it's only got one kilowatt hour of capacity. So this is going to drain quite quickly. One of the things I'm thinking though, I could be really, really sneaky. We're at a uh, dog show at the moment and there is a three pin plug over there at the gazebo at the, uh, the show judging area. When this is empty, I could go and charge it up and then bring it back again. It's almost like filling a can of water, isn't it? And then bring it back to recharge the other battery. Anyway, the purpose of today's test is to see whether it can do it. And the answer is yes. <laughs> Just wait for that to end. So the objective today was to see whether these EcoFlow batteries can charge the electric car. So the answer is yes, yes it can. The Delta II Max is doing a fine job and I'm not powering anywhere near its capacity at the moment. So what I'm going to do later also is try the Delta II and see at 1100 watts, it should be able to do it no problem because it's 1800 watt continuous output capable. So the Delta II should be able to charge the Mini and the Delta II Max is doing a really grand job. What I'm surprised about today, though, is that I'm AC charging from the Delta II to the Delta II Max. I really didn't think that was possible because I've tried it twice now at home. And when I tried it, the Delta II Max was asking for 2.4 kilowatts. And the poor old Delta II couldn't handle that for more than 20 seconds, 25 seconds. And then it would uh, cut out. But today, today it seems to be working and I'm not quite sure why. Unless it's because I've got the solar panels plugged in as well. And then... 
it's not pulling the maximum AC into the Delta II Max, it's just pulling the maximum out of this, which is what I wanted. I wanted that to happen. Now, will I be brave enough when this is depleted to actually try this, the River 2 Pro? Could I AC charge the Delta II Max or even the Delta II from the River 2 Pro? So can I get the energy out of the small one into the middle one and then into the larger one? That's what we'll be trying today. Have a quick peek. So we've got 78% and rising. We're still charging at two kilowatts AC. Into the car though, we're outputting from this 1.1 kilowatts. What I'd like is a little bit more. So let's turn this one off. So I've just charged this Delta II down to 50%. I've now turned AC charging off. So we're now not charging this on AC from this battery, but it is still charging from solar panels. It's still dull and we've got 100 and 130 watts, but the AC output to the Mini is now up from 1100 watts to 1300. So interesting. So while we're charging AC, it can't output as much. So there must be a max limitation about how much can come in and go out at the same time. So by putting less energy in, I can now charge more out to the car. So it looks like I should be able to do this for quite a while. I've been uh, charging now for 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that, while I've been setting the camera up. And it's down to 77%, but I've just risen up 6%. So it looks like I can get all the energy out of all of these batteries into the large one and charge up during the day. So how much am I gonna get? My guess, two kilowatt hours, three kilowatt hours, 3.75 kilowatt hours, but I'm probably gonna lose 20%, aren't I? I'm gonna lose 10% conversion out of the battery into AC and then another 10% from AC to DC back into the car. So I'm probably gonna lose 20% of the 3.7. So that's 0.7 off. I'm probably gonna get three kilowatt hours. That's what I'm hoping. Three kilowatt hours is the target. Plus anything that I get from solar as well. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm hoping in the day, maybe, maybe five. Could I really get two kilowatt hours out of these? If I run them, I mean, if they're running at 300 watts, uh, two, 250, 220 at the moment. So let's say they ran at 200 watts for four hours. That's 0.8, but I'm gonna be here for six hours. So I don't know, maybe a kilowatt hour instead of two. It's gonna be interesting, interesting to see how much we can get. If the sun comes out, that's, wow. That's 616 watts from the panels. That's extremely good. So a little burst there of absolute clear sun 600 watts from 600 watt solar panels. Fascinating. I'm absolutely fascinated by the ability to do this. So I'm not trying to propose that um, everyone buys a Delta II Max and takes it along as a jerry can for an electric car. But something that uh, I thought about was if you've got a car like um, a Citroen Ami, the miles per kilowatt hour on that, you know, must be 10, 11, 12 miles per kilowatt hour, maybe more. I've, I've no idea. I'll have to look into it. But with it being so efficient, and if you did carry one of those in the solar panel and you're going out for the day, potentially you could recharge a significant amount of miles. If you could get three or four kilowatt hours into a Citroen Ami, then you must be talking 40, 40 miles of range. I mean, what is the total range of a Citroen Ami? So potentially it looks like a battery like this and a couple of solar panels that are portable in a very small, quadricycle electric car you could probably go out for the day and then charge up and then come back again lots of potential but do you really want to carry an entire boot full of batteries just to do this probably not so anyway today was all about trying the potential of these batteries and the solar panels to see what's possible so hope you enjoyed this video i uh, hope it's of use so if you've got lots of questions uh, fire away in the comments below and i'll see what i can do on answering them but i'm now going to sign off and experiment with um AC charging from this one across to this one. So I'll be swapping the cables over and trying to do some more charging. One of the, before I sign off actually, one of the interesting ones was this one. DC car adapter with a solar um, panel connector, a DC connector as well. So I can DC output from the River 2 Pro or the Delta 2 and plug this in instead of a solar panel into uh, whichever battery I want as well. So there are lots of ways of getting energy out of these things into the next one. So I'm really enjoying this. Makes you think, how many batteries can I get in the car? And how many times can I recharge the battery? And what's the maximum charging speed I can get? 
Okay, we're nearing the end of the solar day here. We've got about another hour before we're going to head off. So what have the results been like? Well, to be honest, I know this is a bit of a test exercise. I know this isn't um, a real charging uh, method for the Mini. I'm not going to be able to get a full charge here. And I think I'd have to be camping here for about a week to get a full charge completely. But it really shows the potential and it really shows the... I don't know, um, the opportunity for capturing any amount of solar, any amount of sun that's really here. And that's what I've concluded today. Um, the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max has performed brilliantly. Um, it can do the 2.4 kilowatt charge, a 10 amp charge, or it's been doing an 8 amp charge very, very handily. And I've been found that the slower charge, the 8 amp, is working much better. So that while this is, shall we say, trickle charging the car at 1.4 kilowatts, I've got 600 watts of solar here that's topping the battery up in the background. So I'm only charging at effectively 800 watts. Then what I've been doing is waiting until if the sun goes in, I can then disconnect the car and charge the battery a bit more. I don't want to charge this battery down to zero. Otherwise, then I can't um, carry on charging. So for some of the day, I've been charging just the battery, not the car. And then when I've got plenty of charge in the battery, um, I'll charge it again. So at the moment the car is unplugged and I'm just charging the battery. We're at 23% at the moment. So when it gets to 25, I'm going to plug the car back in again and try and drain the last bit of battery that's uh, in here, the capacity. The Delta 2 that's behind me here, just the smaller one, the one kilowatt hour battery, that has uh, been good as well. As I said in the, the early part of the video, I didn't expect this to AC charge the Delta 2 Max because at home it didn't work. But while I've had it plugged into PV as well, it has been AC charging this. So I've been able to empty the Delta 2 Max. The one I haven't been able to empty is the River 2 Pro. That's now right in the back of the car, charging up my phone and uh, charging this battery on the car output. So it's only charging at 95 watts. I haven't been able to AC charge to either of these two batteries using it. So I'm not sure if there is a way of achieving it. Maybe I need to plug some DC power into this Delta II before it'll do that. I'm not sure exactly, but the opportunity here, for me, it's not to carry lots and lots of batteries. This one, is plenty. What I need is more solar panels. So to maximize this configuration, this can take 800 watts of solar. So I need another portable array. These have worked brilliantly. So two single panels, 200 watts here, 100 watts each. Two portable panels, 200 watts each. I've been maxing at 605 watts. So I've got the angles right, the panels are performing right. Um, so 600 watt charging while the sun's out into this battery has been absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately today, it hasn't been that sunny a day. Um, the sun's out now, so I'm filming, but uh, it's been quite cloudy for a lot of the day. So in the six hours, what have I achieved? Well, I've added 12%. Um, I, th I think it's 12% anyway. We were at 26% when I arrived here, and I'm now at 38%. So 12%. So for me, if I was going camping, if I was going out to shows for the entire day, no, I wouldn't leave all this kit out charging because someone would probably steal it. But if I'm with the car, like in this environment where it's in sight all the time, it's actually been a really nice thing. Susan's here in the e-golf and uh, she's got to head off to our final destination on a very low state of charge. She's at about 20, 22%. So by the time we get there, she might even be single digit percents. But me? I'm going to have loads because I've had a little bit of a top up here. So it does show the difference. Um, two cars, two trips. And uh, this one is now very, very comfortable because it's had that little charge. So I found this fascinating to see. One, can you do it? And yes, you can. Either of these two batteries will actually charge the car. This Delta II um, puts out 1.8 kilowatts and I have been charging it between 1.1 and 1.4. So th this would do it. The smaller battery would do it. The bigger battery is perfect. Obviously it's got more capacity and more capability and can do a faster charge as well. The one thing I'm definitely going to do with this configuration though is not bring these in future and try and get a couple more of the portable panels. They're much easier, they take less space in the car and uh, they're much easier to set up. These rigid ones, you have to balance them on things, there's more risk I'm going to scratch the car etc. So yeah, these portable foldable panels, I'm really really impressed with those and uh, I'm probably going to get a couple more of those. If I can get this configuration up to a kilowatt of solar, maybe, even, maybe it's even possible to get 1.2 kilowatts if I'm using both batteries so I can solar charge them both at the same time that could be uh, even more meaningful so I've had quite a decent charge here with just 600 watts of solar and the batteries so uh, yeah, if I can get up to 1.2 kilowatts 
it's going to be even more tangible. So I definitely think I'm going to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's It's been entertaining and interesting to do this myself because I've just been fascinated. Will, will I be able to do it or won't I? One other thing to mention is when you're charging with these batteries, there are earthing issues and sometimes you'll get an earth fault with either the battery or the car and the charger. Now I haven't had that, but there is a little device that you can get to go on the EcoFlow battery, which basically simulates an earthing connection with the mains grid. So it plugs into the mains socket and the USB uh, C charging socket, but it's it's not for charging, it's for uh, data communication. And this little box does something to fool the battery and the car into thinking that it's earthed properly. So you don't get that earthing fault. I think it's about 29 pounds for that device. I do actually have it, but I haven't had to use it. It's worked perfectly. No earthing faults, no faults at all. The car hasn't complained, the batteries haven't complained, and uh, it's done the job. Thanks again for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of energy, power, kilowatt hours, charging. We love it all, don't we? It's free energy, why not use it? Take care, see you again soon. Bye for now.